Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Film Sessions. And uh, today we're going to take a look at Yanni Kajust um, out of West Virginia. Um, now, we know the type of offense West Virginia runs. You know, they got that quick pass, do a lot of passing. So this man has um, had a lot of action. Um, I don't think I've seen him run block a lot. Uh, I've watched a couple West Virginia games, but pass blocking, um, he's done a lot of it, okay? That's pretty much what I've seen, okay? Um, that being said, um, I don't really know. He, he, other than, you know, he's 6'5", 313 pounds, so he's a rather large individual, pause. Um, and, you know, uh, I don't know much about him outside of that, okay? So that being said, you know what we do. We don't know much about somebody. We go to the Draft Network, all right? So the Draft Network says Yanni could just projects favor- favorably as a starting left tackle in a, a, a gap power heavy running offense, which is interesting um, because I didn't I don't believe I saw much running out of West Virginia. I could be wrong on that. I didn't watch a lot of West Virginia football, so I don't think I've seen it. But we'll see on the film. Uh, could just has some restrictions in his pass protection. Uh, working on, in a scheme that offers a lot of short sets and slide protections would be ideal for his physical set. Uh, Kajust has the needed length and mobility uh, to be an effective starter elsewhere. However, uh, teams needing an upgrade could easily start Kajust as a rookie in the 2019. In 2019, but NFL speed uh, will test him initially. Okay, so what they're saying is that this man could start a left tackle off the rip and i haven't seen that about uh, you know you don't it's rare that you have a guy that can, can come in and start at left tackle uh in the league uh in, in nfl it's rare you don't see it much and when they do they struggle which is why a lot of i say it a lot a lot of guys that uh, tackles that get drafted they start in at guard and they eventually shift out to right tackle and then they work their way over to left tackle that's just a natural proge- progression of an offensive tackle that comes out of the ncaa that's just how it is. Um, but to have a guy being projected from the draft network that can be a plug-and-play starter at media left tackle says a lot. Um, and we're going to have to let the film uh, talk because I haven't – I don't know if I saw that out of out of, uh, out of Yadni. And if, if that's the case, this is one of the guys the Panthers need to be looking at. Um, we talk about Jonah Williams. You're talking about um, – you talking about uh, uh, Jawan Taylor. you talking about Cody Ford. I've never heard anybody say Yadni Kajust's name. Okay, but if they're saying that he can project as a left tackle from day one, then uh, that's that's rather impressive. And this is one of the guys we need to look at. All right, that being said, let's jump into, into the film uh, and uh, and see what it has to say. All right, uh, Yadni Kajust, West Virginia. Let's do it. Got a nice little kick. That nice little kick. I like to see him get a larger step back. Ooh, nice block there. I like to. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I like to see my left tackle a little bit taller. I like those six, seven, long arm tackles, especially a left tackle. You gotta have that reach. Um, wow, that's a good block. I'd like to see my uh, my tackle be a little bit taller, but again, I'm, that's that's just you know physical traits. That that ain't really talking to his ability. So uh, we'll see at the combine what he measures out at. Because if he has long arms, uh, then all all that's you know for not six five, I'll take it. His kickback, he looks to be a little off balance. Um, he playing he's playing kind of straight. It's hard for me to uh, to explain it, but when he's kicking back. I like to see that left leg be back a little bit further, kind of, um, uh, kind of evening himself out. He looks to be playing straight up. See, see, he kind of did a little bit better right there. And I, I think that's what they're talking about. The draft network is when they're they're talking about his pass protection could use work. There's little techniques thing, technique things he can he can adjust with, but. Okay, that's decent pass protection. I don't think he's going to, uh, going against any world beaters at Tennessee, but, you know. And look what stadium they're playing in. It could be his home. He could be already be home. And this is the first game of the season, so. Mm. Stills. Or Seals. 
Oh, he got beat inside. Did he get it? Did he get caught holding? Nice. Finding somebody to block. Yeah, that's, that was good kickback right there. I want to see him get off the ball quick. Because uh, you got to get in the NFL, man. The quicker you can get off, get back. Uh, especially with them speedy edge rushers. If you ain't quick enough on that first step, it's a wrap. You lost before the play even started. And that's one of the problems with Matt Khalil. Speed bump. Oh yeah, his run, his run blocking is, is A1. Mm, ooh, gave up a little pressure right there. Got beat with a little nice finesse move. Oh, okay, that was design, design draw play. I was like, man, I don't like the way that one set up right there. I don't like the way he set his block up. He's putting a lot of. Uh, ugh. Throw it away, bro. Throw it away, Greer. Oh, nice. Wants all the smoke. Nice. He got a little head start on that joint. Yeah, he's looking really solid. I'm tripping. I don't know what I was thinking about Virginia. I thought they, I thought they threw the ball a lot more. Man, let me. I must have been watching the Oklahoma game. I think that's the the Oklahoma game is the only game I really watch from West Virginia, and they were slanging that. This is what I'm. This is what I'm used to used to from West Virginia, slanging the rock. I used to seeing them run, but they nice little chop block. Yeah, he's he's manhandling dudes. It's impressive. Ooh, nice. He sh he didn't show his hands to the last minute. That was a great catch. I'm liking Yanni though, man. I'm surprised nobody's talking about this this big fella. Oh, he whiffed. I'm gonna need him to get a hat on somebody next time. He didn't hit anybody on that play. Ooh, nice stiff arm. Them feet moving, you see the shuffling of the feet? I like that. Getting to the second level, but he ain't really touching nobody once he gets to the second level. That's all right though. Oh, nice play. Drew that one up nice. Yeah, nothing's coming from that blind side from uh for, for Greer. Got nothing to worry about back there. Oh, uh, I think he whiffed. He might have missed that block. That might have been a miscommunication. Mm, throwing them stunts at him now.
Nice little chip. Nice. Nice. Got to get a hat on somebody, big fella. You get to the second level and not touch nobody. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. Nice seals. Out of here. You ain't catching them. Oh, there it is. Nice kick. Ooh. Greer standing up in the pocket real nice. I don't even see him in I didn't even see him in the game right there. All right, that's Yanni Kajust. Uh, I, I'm I'm surprised that nobody's talking about this dude. I mean, like I said, you hear about your little, your uh, your Cody Ford, um, your Jawan Taylor, uh, but nobody's really talking about Yanni. Um, and I think if you really need a left tackle, and the way they're projecting it, uh, he played well. And if they, if he if he really can, uh, you trans if that can translate to the NFL. Um, the Panthers need to be on his line uh, because we need a left tackle. Uh, we we got we got two two very good right tackles, and um, uh, we got Daryl Williams coming off injury, who's an All-Pro right tackle, and then you have uh, Taylor Moten, who uh, who is uh, you know who was almost an All-Pro. Uh, he was pretty good. Uh, probably should have been an All-Pro this year. Uh, so we got two really good right tackles. Somebody's got to move over to left, um, but if you can bring somebody in. Uh, a young left tackle, uh, that'd be great because we don't want speed bump on the field anymore. Uh, so I would be looking his way, man. I don't know if he's where he's projected to go, but if he's in there, if he's there in the second, um, I doubt he is. I doubt he's gonna be there in the second because somebody's gonna be looking for a left tackle. Uh, they ain't they ain't easy to find. And uh, if he can, and if it really can project over to the next level, somebody's gonna take a chance and scoop him uh, because he's about one of the only ones you hear that can is a plug and play left tackle. Um, so uh, next time we do our mocks, I need to keep an eye on where he's going and uh, where he where he's uh, in the power rank. And I'm really gonna be watching him at the combine. He's gonna be one of the guys I'm watching. So I want to see um, I want to see all his measurements. Pause. I want to see how big how big his hands are, how long his arms are, how much he can bench. I'm gonna be all in Yadney's business, fam. Cause I want to know um, because he he really may be on, high on my board uh, at left at left tackle if it really does project. That being said. I'm out. Like, subscribe, meet me in the comments. We need to have a discussion in the comment section about this dude, Yanni, because I'm a fan. All right. That being said, I'm out.